banana, 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 banana phone. This is full of some goodies this month, so stay tuned. Welcome to my favorites. What month is it, seriously? Oh, it's October. New setup, new camera setup, new couch situation. Well, same couch, but different blankets. We'll get to it. Let's just jump into it, guys. I've got 10 things that are my favorites of this month slash just currently. I'm gonna share them with you because we love a favorites video. Ding, let's start. I have a list. My number one favorite thing of this month, this is in no particular order, but we're just going for it. This has been my favorite for a while now. Guys, this for Love and Lemons sweater. Mm. <gasps> you see it? How cute this is? You see these little guys? La 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 la. I bought this for the set in my music video or, or as one of the costumes for my music video. I wear this all the time. I love this color. I love the flare of the arms. It's sassy, it's cute, it can button up. I live for it, I dream for it. Moving along to my number two favorite of the month. This is a little bit been used. This is a little bit been used. Derma E Essentials. Universal Cleansing Balm. They sent me this for free. I will say it gets a little messy on the outside, but it could just be because I'm extremely messy. This smells literally like Starburst. And what is it for, you ask? Okay, you know how every, every esthetician everywhere or every beauty guru says, do not use um, makeup remover wipes for your eye makeup because it gives you wrinkles, X, Y, Z. Well, this new trend is this cleansing balm and I obviously like didn't really go for it. I was just like, no, I love my makeup remover wipes. Hmm. Thank you Derma E for sending this to me. Guys, it's incredible. It smells amazing. It takes off all my eye makeup and I like legit wear a lot of mascara and stuff. I basically like go to the sink, rub, rub, rub. All my makeup comes off. Like I can feel it bringing off my mascara and then I wash, then I cleanse with like an actual face wash. It smells incredible and it does the job and I'm like, okay, I'm taking care of my skin because I'm not wrinkling under there. All right, number three thing I really like, I've got three makeup products that I'm about to show you. Number one thing is I've rediscovered using my Rodan and Fields Brow Defining Boost, which is like a, it's an eyebrow thingy. You know, what are these called? You put it on, it puts immediate color on. I'm wearing it already, so this is really confusing because it's backwards. I think I put on too much just now, but you know the serum that I use that grows my eyelashes, Lash Boost? This makeup has that in there, so if you have sparse eyebrows and you want them to be thicker or you've like over plucked them in the past and you want them to be, to grow, this has that Lash Boost technology in it, but what I really just love is that it's a really good makeup for my eyebrows. Like I feel like it's, um a little thicker than my other brow products, and it's in shade medium. I'm just really into it and I love, it just keeps them in place. Like everything about it, it's just kind of my favorite brow thing right now, so I wanted to tell you about it. Second makeup product that I'm showing you. I just sniffed my lip thing, that's weird, okay. So this is almost out, you can tell. This is my NARS, it's called Walkyrie Lip Pencil. You guys seeing this? <sighs> Mm-mm, good are more than good, they're great. I don't know what it is, I love the shade. It's obviously not like, a full-blown neutral, but it's in the neutral family, but I'm obsessed with it. I don't know. Are you not? Well, Kiri, I highly recommend. You can literally buy this on Amazon. I'll link it. This was not on my list, but I'm making it another one because I was putting it on when I was getting ready for my audition today. I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my Instagram or my YouTube or anything, but Iconic London Illuminator. This is um, a highlighter. It's in shade Original. I'm wearing it. I don't need to put it on. Mm-hmm. You, they say highlighter on fleek for a reason. This stuff is fuego. It comes in different um, potions. Like once I bought it in like kind of like a, a dippity, like I've dipped my finger into it, not as good. This is like legit liquidy. You drop a little drop. I take a semi-wet blender brush and put it there. I'll put a little tip on my nose and on my things. You can see it. I mean, it's shimmering like gorgia in a town. Love it. Those are my three beauty products that I'm recommending for this month, obsessed. Ooh, this one's an easy one. This is. Product number five slash six. I don't really go anywhere without these sunglasses now. They're from Amazon. Some might find them disgusting. Some might say they're hideous. Some might say they are so in vogue right now. I'm on that team. I'm so into it. I kind of like was just like over my circle classic Ray-Bans that I've been wearing for forever. I literally wear this as a headband all the time. People are like, you know you're wearing sunglasses inside. I'm like, yeah, I know. Oh, and this is, these are like $8. So get these sunglasses on Amazon. I'll link them. I have them in like four different colors. How cute is this? Okay, I feel so happy. Just like goes with everything I'm feeling like 80s retro right now. We are absolutely flying through this video. For my number seven thing I wanna show you. We just got to seven because I added in that highlighter thing. I'm doing a shoe haul. You heard it here first. I've got four pairs of shoes that I've acquired recently that I'm obsessed with, so I'm sharing them with you. Okay, 
Number one, okay, these are my Jeffrey Candle sandals in yellow. I'm not kidding you. I have worn these to like multiple events and every single time I go somewhere, somebody texts me and goes, can I get the link for these shoes? They are so cute. They come in pink, light blue, um, tan. I obviously bought the yellow. I've wanted them in many colors, but I've resisted and only gotten one color. I have gotten my absolute like wear out of these. I love these. You can wear them for hours and they're basically have no height because it's so thick here. So they're easy to walk in and I'm bad at walking in heels. You don't get blisters unless you wear it for more than 12 hours on your feet, which I've done. So be careful. If you're just wearing these for a couple hours, they're incredible. They are so cute. You're going to want them. So I'll link them for you. You're welcome. Okay. In the same vein of adorableness, like kind of platformy things, Seychelles sent me these shoes. Do they not remind you who grew up in the nineties? Do they not remind you of the shoes that everyone wore? How cute are these? So cute, so cute, so cute. I wanna wear these around. Oh, I wanna wear them for my audition or something. I'm obsessed. Not too high, so cute, made of leather. They're not the um, like elastic top. You know where you'd wear them and they'd like slap, 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 slap back in the 90s? This is more of a leather thing, made in Italy, so they're really nice. I am obsessed. Okay, two more pairs of shoes though. Also from Seychelles, these freaking cute little slides. I now wear these all the time. I wear them to yoga all the time. They're really thick and sturdy, like they're made of leather. Only thing I will say to you is if you wear them barefoot, they're gonna make farting sounds. They're gonna make farting sounds, I promise, but it's honestly worth it because they're so cute. I've worn these around LA, so I probably shouldn't put them by my face. And then shoe number four for the haul. Oh, these are like my house shoes, although I did wear them to yoga this morning. See how cute these are. BC Footwear, which is also owned by the same company as Seychelles. See how it's this like amazing kind of, what is it called, like shearling? Kind of like that shearling thing, that softness. These do not fart when you walk. These are amaze balls. I love them. Made in California, what's good? Taking a mini break, one sec. Pivoting to comfy things, number eight. I have two blankets that are amazing, amazing. Who knew blankets would like really bring so much joy to my life, but they do. How gorgeous is this? This is from Cozy Earth. It's made of bamboo. They sent it to me. It's so soft. Oh my gosh, do you see that? So soft and it's just gorgeous on my couch. The moment I put it on my couch, I was like, I live in a five-star mansion. And then oh, it's so big, you can tell. Hello, this is a minky couture blanket, you guys. It's their grande size. It is so big, so soft. It's everything, look how big it is. It's so big. And every time they sell a grande blanket, they give a, a little mini blanket to the NICU, which is so sweet. This is so soft. It's so big too, I like don't even know where to put it yet. It's like, it's too big for my blanket pile, so it sits on my couch. Can you see how soft this is? Oh my God. Okay, I'll pull it off for the rest, but kind of gonna wrap in it the rest of the rest of the video. You guys are gonna be so excited about this next thing I'm gonna show you. Okay, just like the yellow shoes, every time I go somewhere and I have this with me, someone asks for a link. Look at this bag. Do you see this bag? Oh my gosh. Do you see how gorgeous this bag is? Hi, my name is Margie. Can I place your order with this cute pearl bag from literally Amazon? I just sniffed it. Oh, it's so cute. I bought this because I was going to my sister's wedding and this felt like a wedding appropriate adorbs bag. Also, it comes with this little cutie thing inside with these little balls. Okay. It's sturdy and it's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. Like take it in. There you go. <sighs> they have it in other colors, but I went for the actual like pearl color. Also pearl is my birthstone. This sells itself. It sells itself. I literally, when I was flying across the country to go to my sister's wedding, I butt in line to get on the plane in time. And I thought this girl was gonna yell at me, but then instead she goes, where's your bag from? And I sent her the link and she didn't get mad at me. So this will cut you in line on the planes and this will make you really, really popular and you'll feel really cute. Okay, that was a huge one. I'm obsessed with that. Oh, okay. We've got two more things on the list. One is something you can read. I'll do that one last. And then this one is something you can put your feet on while you're reading. Luckily, this is actually something you can pick up even though it's usually on the floor. Do you see this? This is also that shearling. It's from Article. I bought this ottoman. I wanted it for a while. I did a payment plan. It's not crazy expensive, but it's not like 20 bucks. But I just, I wanted a chair with this material for so long, can you see? Yeah, I wanted a chair with this material for a really long time. Usually like when you find a shearling chair that's fully shearling, it's like 400 bucks. And I also don't have a ton of extra space inside to put it, but this I can tuck right under my side table on the side of my um, couch, and then I pull it out and put my feet on. It's the perfect height with this couch. 
it's everything. Article, Ottoman, I will link it. You can do a payment plan, whole thing. And then speaking of putting your feet up and getting cozy in your little tiny blanket. Well, I could recommend these glasses. These are, um, what are these called? Blue light glasses from Zeal. Really cheap, really cute. I'm gonna actually wear them because I feel really smart wearing them. For the final thing on this list, you guys, this is like probably not what you were expecting, but I am a really big nerd and I'm a big reader. And there are four books right now that I need to recommend to you, pronto. Two of them are fiction. If you're a fiction reader, you'll love these. And two of them are nonfiction. Can you see the front? Oh no, Atomic Habits. Quickly, we're gonna blaze through all four of these. We've got One Day in December. We've got The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. We've got I Will Teach You to Be Rich. And we've got Atomic Habits. I Will Teach You to Be Rich. I've made like a million people buy this so far. Okay, like four, but a lot of people. By Ramit Sethi, he went to Stanford, which is where I went to college, so I obviously love him and trust him. He's so smart, it says, no guilt, no excuses, no BS, just a six week program that works. If you need to understand finances and you are a millennial, you need this book. The pages smell fuego, it's my favorite page scent. Favorite page scent, he is so easy to understand. He breaks it down, like he's, he's so funny. I laughed so many times with Ramit, there he is on the back. You see this little guy? I first heard about him because he was a guest on a podcast that I love. He taught me everything I need to know about like how to get my credit score, like make sure my credit score is in check, like check on it first, make sure it's good. And then even if your credit score is not great, like what to do to make it better and how to make sure your credit score continues to be great. And then he goes into this whole thing about savings and investing and how your money should be set up and running and saving so that you have something to live off in the future. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. Ramit, you're amazing, call me. Second thing that's nonfiction, Atomic Habits. Tiny changes, remarkable results. An easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. If you wanna like change something about your life or you're like, I have this really bad habit, I wanna break it, or I wanna make better habits, read this book. It's so quick to read, it gives you really like actual doable tips, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't just talk about things in like an ethereal sense, it's literally like start this and do this. Like if you wanna go to the gym more, it's like the habit that you need to create is getting in the car to go to the gym. It's not going to the gym. It's so genius and one of my favorite things that he talks about, which was really inspiring for me, the first thing on the back says, a revolutionary system to get 1% better every day. He has this like statistic or something that he says, if you do something every day, you get, the idea is that you get 1% better every day. And if you do something every day for a year, you'll leave and you're like 37% better than you were when you started. And that makes me think of my dance saga and me trying to get better. And I do it every day and I'm like, I'm gonna walk out of 2021 37% better than I started. I can feel it happening. And it was really inspiring. And I think you're gonna love this book. And it's an easy read. I just finished this this morning. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. This book is beautiful. One of my best friends told me to read it. I will tell you it is long. It was like basically 450 pages and it's like big long pages. You know what I'm saying? It literally took me like nine months to finish this book. I like zoomed through maybe 50 pages then I was like, put it on the side then zoomed through another hundred. There's twists along the way which keep you interested but just for some reason like, I feel like from 150 to 300, I was, to 250, I was like, ah, when's this gonna be over? But then I got to about page 275 and I was like, you're gonna finish this. And it was so beautiful at the end. Oh, this story is like, I had chills the last 20 pages. I highly recommend, it's so beautiful. This was on Reese's Book Club. It's called One Day in December. It's a novel, it's a love story. It's by Josie Silver. If Reese loves it, I love it, because you know she's my mommy. Guys, this is a love story that spans almost 10 years it's so amazing. And this book, let me tell you, is 500 pages and I read it in a day and a half. It's easy to read. It's short little pages. This fiction story makes you happy. Get swept away in it. Like, it's so sweet. You need to read it. You need to read it, okay? I love books. I love my favorite things for the month. That's it. We breezed through these quickly. We did my love for Love and Lemon sweater, boom. We did Derma E Cleansing Balm, boom. We did Brow Defining Boost, boom. We did Walkiri Nars Lip, Boom, we did the highlighter on fleek, boom, boom. We did Amazon Sunnies, all the shoes. We did both the blankies and we did the purse. You're gonna be really popular with that purse. Then we did the article ottoman and then we did all the books. Okay, that is it. Over and out, ladies. I sped through it. You know you love me. I hope you enjoyed the favorites video. Let me know what you wanna see from me next. I am committing to doing a video a week 
on my YouTube. So anything is fair game. It can be favorites, it can be Margie Mae's sleighs, it can be Margie Mae's gourmets. Check out those series if you haven't. Whatever you wanna see, I'm coming at you. I love you, bye. <laughs>